What is your take on our president-elect? Wow. President-elect Trump, what do you, what's your opinion? I, when I moved here to America, I was right in the middle of the campaign, and I kept hearing uh, America great again, great again. Let's make America great, great again. again. Let's yeah. make America And I was like, if it's not that great, they should have told us before we moved. Yeah. <laughs> Because I think it's great, and I love America. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know, I was like, maybe they should put uh, people in embassies, American embassies all around the world, and they would, you know, warn people. When you come to apply for a visa, they would tell you, you know, I know you want to move to America, but just so you know, now it's not that great, you know? <laughs> We're working on it We're to bring it back. <laughs> but... <laughs> It's like it's a restaurant or something. Yeah. They should tell you, not right now, come back yeah, later. Yeah, or maybe it's like when you go get sh shopping and the, the salesman is like, I should not tell you, but it's gonna be on sale. <laughs> <laughs> in two weeks. Come back. Come back. Well, one time I was in a movie theater with my buddy and, and we were sitting there in a trailer, it was a big summer movie, I, it was like some action movie and they, were, they showed a trailer for one of the movies that I was in. And I was trying to make my buddy laugh and we were in the theater and after the trailer ended, I just yell out, because like it's a dark theater, no one knows I'm there. They don't going, know it's you, yeah. Yeah, and just so I just go, I'm seeing that, right? Yeah. And my buddy's kind of laughing, kind of like you're an idiot. And then um, the guy in front of me who has no idea it's me, just goes, yeah, maybe on an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like one of the most humbling, um, <laughs> like funny moments where I was like, yeah, no, I suck, I know. <laughs> How about, how, do you, how do you feel about the films this year? The films that were nominated? Ooh, I, I like them. I, I love Phantom Thread. I thought that was fabulous. Mm -hmm. I, uh, that great, great Paul Thomas Anderson. I loved uh, The Shape of Water, mm -hmm. which brings new meaning to the idea she'll have the fish. And, uh... <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> he was great. He did a wonderful job. Do you have a scene where you and, and you, you and him embrace? Yeah, lots of making out. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Nothing but making out. All right. It's like nine and a half weeks, but carrot top. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing. Wow. <laughs> I gotta check out that movie. Is it called Nine and a Half Seconds? <laughs> Like he's premature ejaculated. We got it. You know, you know what happened? This is what happened. You know what happened? He said nine and a half seconds, and I'm looking at him because I know there's more. And I wait and wait, and I see the glimmer in the eye, and then bang! I thought you were going to crack whore, but no. But uh, what's the movie going to be called? Well, really? I know what it's going to be called. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> If it's got Carrot Top in it, you know what a good name for it would be? What's that, Norm? Box Office Poison. <laughs> and we have two! She's in it. What about my career? Courtney Thorne Smith, the girl sitting to your left, is in the movie. I'm gonna go see it for fun. <laughs> Away no, I love this girl. Win? I would see any movie with this girl in. She's a beautiful lady and, <laughs> and a talented, nice talk show guest. Okay. As evidenced by her appearance on our rival show. <laughs> All right. Well, there's this two-hour season finale of Melrose Place. There's this movie coming out. Yes. Title undetermined at this point. Chairman of the board. Oh. All right. Do something with that, you freak. <laughs> I, I bet the board is spelled B-O-R-E-D. <laughs> so, uh, have I not gotten laid in a while or is Ken Burns super hot? <laughs> That's just the setup. That's just the setup. Uh, why is lightning uh, coming out of your crotch? Oh, Wayne. Uh, what is that, the, Tony? Why is the woman asked the same question? Oh. I have a dog, and he's uh, she. Uh, the new one is such a bright spot. I will say though, 
I can just, I, I hate to say this, I can tell she's been abused before just because, I, you know, I did it. And so I can just tell, <laughs> you and you know that you did and, and she knows that Fuck. I did it. That's because, horrible. Yeah, I gotta stop. She's very kickable. She's so small. Oh, no, no. No, I... People won't go for this. They're not, they'll, oh, go for it. Come on. I, she's still a rescue. I just kick her. I can take care of those naughty, earth-destroying earth. Yes, baby, grab me by the equator. I want you to use okay, a no, 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 we, We're not gonna. No, no. What, no. What, we're gonna stop. We stop that. We're not gonna actually. No, we're not gonna have sex with these balls right now on television. Conan, I have a feeling your carbon footprint is huge. <laughs> You're responsible for one of, uh, I think, one of the most compelling fight scenes of all time. You did a terrific movie called Eastern Promises, and there is a fight scene that takes place in a sauna where you're not wearing any clothes, and it is the most harrowing fight scene. And if you're a guy, you're watching it because knives are involved, yeah. <laughs> and you're in the most vulnerable state any man can be in, and it is terrifying, but I... I... That was a less comfortable naked moment, that's for sure. Yeah, that was, exactly. You standing in a bus with a cup of coffee saying it's a penis, deal with it, not so bad. This, it, that looked like it was an incredibly brutal scene to, to shoot. It was, but it was, I mean, it's David Cronenberg, so you yeah. kind of do whatever he says. Yeah, you do it. When he says, take off your clothes and fight two men with knives in a sauna. I know it, it wasn't in the script, but just. <laughs> Got a little surprise for you today. What are your interests? I'm a deep thinker. I explore <laughs> inward as well as outward. When your job in, the, in a role or in a sketch is to be a prick, it's so liberating. It's fun. It looked like you were having... I bet you had a good time. I didn't have to not say some of the things I think of, you know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's... Some... <laughs> this is so nice. Like... Have you ever thought, like, idiot at the end of a sentence, but you don't say it? Like, yeah. it's, it's right over there. <laughs> <laughs> Were you flipping out the day, like, when you met? Did you flip out? Did you, did you, really, that yeah, early? Yeah, I remember. She told me to go see that movie Monster. Mm -hmm. Remember that movie with Charlize Theron? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, and everybody was saying how, uh, oh, my God, it was unbelievable. Like, they, they literally blamed guys that she was a serial killer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, when you saw the Jeffrey Dahmer movie, it wasn't like, ah, somebody shoved a tuna fish sandwich up my ass, and I confused people with food, so I... Like, they didn't make, like, a big excuse for him. You know? She was a psycho killing people, and she should have died. But I'm, like, watching it feeling guilt. Do they ever take responsibility for their actions? Even when they're murdering people, it's somehow our fault. It's... it's, it's Unreal. What? 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 Why would, why would, why would, why would having a tuna fish sandwich? Why would having a tuna fish sandwich shoved up your butt make you want to eat people? Because another man did it. <laughs> right? So it's another person. So you, you equated, I don't know, sex with food? I forget. I forget how the idea went. But all Which, I know is she laughed when I said it. She was dying laughing and kind of saw my point. And, um... <laughs> I always hate when she says to me, she'd just be like, you know, I just don't see what, where is that coming from? Where is that coming from? It's just like, honey, how many childhood stories do I have to tell you before you follow the breadcrumbs to the psycho that you married? I mean, <laughs> did you ever take a psychology class like you didn't see this coming? Right. That's what it is. It's not that she says that I'm a jerk. It's just the nerve to be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, do not tell kids about the Zodiac Killer, all right? Even though he left plenty of clues, he was never brought to justice. Right. He's probably still out there dreaming up his next creative murder. I'm Wiki Bear. All right, no, no. <laughs> just stop it. I don't want to hear any more about he the Zodiac He was just thinning out the herd. Yay! <laughs> we should thank him. No, no, we shouldn't thank him. That's terrible. You're a terrible toy for children, all right? If I could hold a gun, I'd kill you right now. All right. <laughs> we'll take a look. Morality is an illusion. Nietzsche was right. Shut up, don't... Don't quote Nietzsche, Bear. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right... What? The universe is random and absurd. All right, we'll take a break. When we come back... Sorry, one too many. Yeah, one too many. <laughs>